So currently we're a few, like a couple months before MB the NBA action starts in the regular season, but today, probably the biggest trade of the summer, I'd say to myself, happened today, and it finally happened after weeks of Kyrie Irving stirring around news in Cleveland saying he wants to leave and ask for a trade. So today, it finally happened. It happened between the two best teams in the East now, I guess, Boston Celtics and the Cleveland Cavaliers. So today, the Cavs, they trade Kyrie Irving alone, nothing else, in exchange, I'm just reading this off my phone right here, in exchange for Isaiah Thomas, IT, Jay Crowder, Ante Zicic, and a 2018 Nets first rounder. So that is an insane trade for the Cavs, obviously, because they gained so much in that while barely giving out too much, I guess. Because when you take a look at Isaiah Thomas and Kyrie Irving, you're basically replacing one at the other. So it's fine right there. And then if you add in Jay Crowder, though, Jay Crowder great defensive player so you're losing even more defense on the celtics end they already lost avery bradley their best defensive player in the trade the pistons to go and get enough salary to go and sign uh, gordon hayward so they're losing a lot of defense this summer and it's kind of it's looking a little bit worrying there but i guess they're adding kyrie irving one of the best ball handlers and scorers in the nba but uh we also add in z i don't know if even z's is even on here yeah he's not on there so i guess we'll just add in I don't know, just James Young, I guess, will go in for that. And then we go and add in that Nets first rounder in 2018 right there. Unprotected. Um, so that's the trade right there. You have Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Zitic, and a first round pick. And the thing is, it doesn't go through yet because we have too many players that are on the Cavs end. So, gotta add in a few more players to go make this one go through. So we have to add in Tavares, I guess, and another player right there at the bottom. Probably Dante Jones. There you go. So Kyrie in exchange for Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Zizic, and a Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets 2018 first round pick. We'll go through on 2K. And this one, it says the Celtic GM says, we like what we have right now as far as this trade is concerned. So in this game, they don't even want to make the trade there for Kyrie Irving because they just don't want to do it. So that is the trade on the Cavs. And we'll go take a look at this one on the Celtics end though. So we're on the Celtics end now. We go and add in Isaiah Thomas, but I still can't believe that Isaiah Thomas is a member of the Cavs. They're like, this trade seems like it only happened in 2K, but it happened in real life. So just, I don't know, it's just a mess right there. I thought for sure the Cavs would go and trade him, trade Kyrie to the West, but I guess the, the East is losing so much talent, it'd be pretty much bare bones when it comes to talent in the East if you trade away Kyrie as well. So we go and add in the next thing, which is Jay Crowder right there. And then we go and add in Zicic, basically. I don't know. He's not, I don't know why he's not in this game, but let's we'll go and add in. Uh, James Young right there and then we go and add in the last thing which is that 2018 Brooklyn first round pick probably the most valuable thing in the entire trade for the Cavs right there go to add in that right there and right there is our trade for the Celtics but go and add in Kyrie Irving from the Cavs and this trade though like I don't know what to really think of it at this point because I guess the Cavs are gaining Isaiah Thomas is a little bit short he isn't great at defense, but he's a pretty good scorer in the fourth quarter. One of the best ones in the league, I'd say. Probably even the best in the league when it comes to fourth quarter scoring. But we'll go and add in just a couple more players to go and make this one go through and see if it works on the Celtics end. Right there. So Isaiah Thomas, J. Crowder, James Young, or basically Zicic, and a first round pick for Kyrie Irving will go through. In this trade, it says the Cavs a GM says, I love our current roster and think we're a championship contender. I don't want to mess with what we have unless it's a deal to get, that's too good to pass up. This offer just isn't that. You're asking me to give up a very valuable asset in Kyrie Irving when none of the assets to get back seem nearly as valuable. That's not happening. So in 2K's mind, Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, Zietzich, and a first round pick from Brooklyn does not equal Kyrie Irving's output on the team so now just after that we'll go and make the trade go through and see what both players look like or all the players look like in the new uniforms so when found the newest roster update from the community featuring this trade and right now here's isaiah thomas they're in the brand new Cavs uniform he's looking pretty nice there in the red and gold but uh it's weird though the first overall pick in the 2011 draft was traded for the last pick in the 2011 draft that's insane to think that but uh, right now, Isaiah Thomas is at point guard. I don't know why J.R. Smith is 63 overall in this uh, community roster update. But regardless, we have J.R. at shooting guard. We have LeBron James at small forward. Kevin Love at power. Tristan Thompson at center. Then we have Derrick Rose there on the team as the backup point guard. Looking nice there, number one. And then we have Jake Crowder there as our sixth man, at least on this team. In my opinion, I think the Cavs won this trade, but just based on the fact that Kyrie Irving 
if he didn't get traded, he would have been stirring around a whole bunch of mess in Cleveland uh, because he wanted to get traded from the team, and it just caused a big mess when it came to team chemistry. So they got rid of that guy, that cancer, I guess you could say, in the locker room, and brought in Isaiah Thomas, a team player. He brought in a 2018 Nets first rounder, which is maybe a top five pick at the very least, I guess. And then you go and add in Jay Crowder, a great defensive player that are on the team, on the bench, going to help you may hopefully make another finals berth in LeBron James's uh, turn here with the Cavs, just before he leaves too, maybe. Because maybe even if this trade works well enough, you never know if LeBron would actually stay in Cleveland to go and work with Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, and possibly the next draft pick next season in 2018, whoever they get without Nets first rounders. So this trade could help out LeBron's opinion in staying and could help it out his decision here with staying in Cleveland. So this trade could work out fantastically for the Cavs if it works out all good. But we take a look at it on the Celtics end. We have Kyrie Irving there at point guard. We have Jalen Brown at shooting guard. We got Gordon Hayward at small forward. We have Marcus Morris there at power. Al Horford at center. Marcus Smart at point at six man. And Tatum, I don't actually know why Tatum's not six man, but they have Tatum, they have Smart, they have Rozier. I mean, they have a decent team, but I don't know. They lost a whole bunch of their support on the bench though like you have Avery Bradley he's gone Jay Crowder he's gone now you're relying on guys like Smart who's all right I guess you're relying on guys like Tatum who's gonna be a beast but still putting a lot of pressure on his shoulders but at least you have Gordon Hayward too that kind of helps with the blow a bit but still I'm not really feeling too confident if I'm the Boston Celtics though he gave up a lot for a one player in Kyrie Irving and unless he plays fantastic like even better than what Isaiah Thomas played last season then this trade might not work in your favor after maybe a year or two because long term you're losing a Nets pick. You are, I guess Isaiah Thomas, he is, his contract's up at the end of the year, but I'm pretty sure he'll probably resign in Cleveland. Kyrie's contract is, is probably expiring in about two years, I think, on this on the real life. So they're relying a lot on their youth this season, like Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, Terry Rozier. Like some of these guys are gonna put get a, a lot of weight put on their shoulders to go and help this team get to first in the East like they did last season. Anyway, that was the Kyrie Irving trade today that happened. Just an insane blockbuster trade. I can't believe it actually still happened in my mind. Now they have to go and change the 2K18 cover to maybe feature uh, Kyrie Irving that are in those Celtics colors. Otherwise, I mean, they could always go and shove in DeRozan there on the cover just like he is on the Canadian one. I mean, it's a great looking cover. Why not put him on there? But I'm pretty sure they're just going to go and change his colors from Kyrie's uh, Cavs colors to the Celtics ones nonetheless. But anyway, I guess on the steps are off for here, make sure to subscribe for more trade breakdown videos. Plus, Mad just came out today, so I'm pretty happy I'm playing that using my Giants franchise. But I'm pretty, it's a pretty good game so far. I'm liking it. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.